Welcome to this video on creating and processing shipments in the Pack and Send Live Shipping Platform. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to process the shipments required after orders have been created, either manually or through an e-commerce integration. If you are managing the shipping process yourself from your premises, the orders you create will appear in your My Shipments section. If you have engaged a Pack and Send service center to handle your shipments via a 3PL solution, then your orders will appear in the 3PL shipment section. In this case, there is nothing more for you to do as a service center will process the shipments on your behalf. If, as in this case, you are managing the process yourself, once your orders are ready to go, click on the My Shipments link to take you to the shipping screen. You will see all of your shipments here. If you have multiple warehouses, you'll also see which warehouse that order has been assigned to, usually assigned due to the proximity of the receiver. There are a number of ways you can process the shipments either individually, multiple at one time, or you can create a batch. Batch creation is a good tool to use if you have many shipments to process and you want to do them a few at a time, or if you want to do it by warehouse if you have multiple or for a host of other reasons. The first thing to do is check that all have been accepted. If there are any issues, it will say invalid here and you can edit the shipment to correct the issue. How you process the shipments next is up to you, but for ease, I'll go through a total step-by-step -step process. First, I'll batch all the domestic orders and come back to the international one later. Create a random batch name there. As you can see, now we have created a batch. This batch includes all the domestic shipments There. If I go back to show all shipments, you can see all the shipments there. But this batch is just for the domestic. Now to continue with the shipping process, remember you can follow these next steps for each shipment individually if you prefer, and also selecting a number of them to process at the same time. But as I said for ease, I'll do it through the batch system here. Next thing I'll do is I'll print all the packing slips. This way I know what needs to go into each shipment. Once you've started this process to print the packing slips, you can close the notification and it will do complete the process in the background, allowing you to continue on doing other functions. Once those packing slips are ready, you'll get a notification up in the top corner here. And you'll be able to then click on the icon, view the packing slips and print them as requested. I would then take those packing slips and go and pick the orders and pack them in appropriate cons or satchels, whatever they're being shipped in. Once that's done, I can then come back and edit these shipments as appropriate by clicking into them to the edit here and changing the packing dimensions if I need to. Some orders like this one may have multiple items that can be consolidated into the one package. If you have some packages set up in your account, you can start typing in that package name, selecting it, and it'll automatically populate the dimensions and the weight as you need to. You can then click on refresh service. And as you can see, it changed it because it consolidated one package into the cheaper option, which is the default setting for this particular account. Once that's ready, you can then click on save. And then you can go back editing the rest. Once they're all done and ready to go, the next step would be to print the shipping labels. Go to the batch icon here, or again, you can quickly select multiple items, click print the shipping labels, or you can print the label one at a time. But since we're doing these in one batch, we may as well do them from here. Click on the print labels, and again, you can close that off and it will carry on doing it in the background. You'll see the items be consigned there. Once they're all done, you'll get the notification here saying they're ready. And just as before, you can view the shipping labels here and print them as required. Once you have 
printed the labels and attached them to the relevant shipments, you can mark these items as ready. You can then either set them aside until you're ready to dispatch them or process them more shipments to add to these. As you can see, we've left the international one there. We're now just going to process the domestic ones. Once these are ready to dispatch for a crew to pick them up, you can go to the Ready tab here. The system has automatically now dispatched all of these, so it batched all of these items by courier. So you have options of Cruise Please and Star Trek. Simply hover over the respective courier icons and you can see the options to either dispatch or put pickup. If you have regular shipments and couriers come to you every day, there is no need to put the pickup, so you can simply dispatch. However, it is always a good idea to put the pickup as it then gives you a reference that you can provide to your pack and send representative should there be any problems with the courier pickup. So for these items, we will put the pickup here. And as you can see, this will both put the pickup with the courier and dispatch the items. Simply enter the required details, date and time, some small instructions, and click on dispatch and book. The system will now contact the courier giving them all the information about the number of items, contents, destinations, etc. Once completed, these items will now move into the dispatch tab. And you can just wait for the courier to pick up or you can process some more shipments. In the dispatch tab, you can actually see here the booking reference. So if you ever need the reference here, you can always come and get that there. We'll just do the same with these shipments as well. Some couriers, such as Star Trek, may require a manifest document which you can actually print from here. If a courier does not require this document, you'll get a notification telling you as such. There are now just two more steps in the process. Once a courier comes and picks your items up, you can select them all and mark them as shipped. Or do it from the back there. This will then move them into the shipped tab. And you'll be able to track them from here with the link. If you have an e-commerce integration, the system would use the write back process to send this tracking information back to your e-commerce store and onto your customers so they can track the items themselves. Once the shipments have been completed, you can then move them to the completed tab so they don't clutter up your dashboard with shipments that are in process. If you have any questions about this or other functions in the Pack and Send Live platform, please contact your local Pack and Send representative. Thanks for watching.